Swarbrick has a paranormal ghost society. We've arrived at a place called Woods Lake. Our camp spot sits a little further back. Yeah, as you can see, I mean, we are surrounded by large granite rock formations. There's a little trail. It's nice. It's a little pricey to stay here, but it leads to two really great hiking trails. Um, I'm going to show you two peaks I'm going to climb on this expedition. There'll be also some wilderness and some primitive hiking, which is offbeat. And we'll be visiting an old mining camp, an historic site, and about four or five lakes. But anyways, this is our camping spot. We'll probably put your tent under the tree. Or uh, we'll maybe put your tent somewhere in here, not too far away from the fire. We have the bench right here. Get a nice fire. But if you look, check this out. I'm going to show you guys something really quick because this is an introduction to this area. We're going to be doing round, round top peak, round top lake, 4th of July peak, 4th of July lake, elephant's back, Muck Alumni Wilderness, El Dorado National Forest, Lake Winnemucca, and finally Woods Lake. So Woods Lake, we're close enough to fish. And so I plan on doing a little fishing for some trout while I'm here. And uh, I would go swimming, but it is a little chilly and there is snow. But look here, looky, looky. Right here you have, that's the peak I'm gonna be climbing tomorrow. And there's a lake nestled to the right. And you just go up the ridge of the peak. And if you come here, this is a new cam. I can do six hours of footage on batter on the batteries. Then if you hike towards this way, that is the elephant's back. And you guys seen the other side of it last year when we did the Forest Dale Divide on our Bigfoot trip. So yet you know you got a prominent peak behind this tree. Uh, um, that's a lava dome. And technically let me climb up a little higher without falling. Um, if you look here, I'm going to show you guys something. If you look at this peak up ahead, let's see if I can get down here a little further. There we go. If you guys look ahead right here, that was a volcanic vent. That's all lava rock, my friends. And this is a forest full of trees and a lot, a lot, per se, of granite stone everywhere. And you really can't see it from here. It's hard to see, you can kind of see it, but there's a, if you look here, there's a little path. If you take this path down, it'll bring you right to Woods Lake. Woods Lake is just right down over here. You can't really see it. I can see some reflections of it through the trees, but we got a great spot where we can we can hike down, maybe do a little fishing. You know, obviously it's it gets cold here at night. Um, if you look, if you pay very close attention, there's snow on the peaks. And you know what's really sad is that since it's almost October, well the leaves haven't changed colors just yet but there are no more wildflowers. So we're gonna be hiking through meadows of non-existent wildflowers. But we will, we will visit some really scenic places. And I mean, it, I mean, you can see it, there's snow, it's very scenic, it's very lovely. And uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun searching for Bigfoot. Anyways, I gotta get back to camp and I gotta help everybody out and set up the tent and dinner and all those great things. Um, it's amazing how much food and supplies and gear we brought for this Bigfoot expedition but it is very important to have all sorts of supplies and gear and survival survival type of of supplies to get us through especially when you're doing in like two days 20 miles worth of hiking but anyways that is our campsite down there and uh, it's going to be a beautiful three-day 
expedition. This is Lord Rick of the Paranormal and Ghost.